Did you know that history and the world hold secrets you've probably never heard about? In this journey of discovery, we will unveil some of the most astonishing and lesser known facts from around the globe, stories that will ignite your imagination and leave you astounded. Prepare to be captivated as we delve into the hidden corners of history and unearth the remarkable secrets that have been hiding in plain sight. Chapter 1. Bran Castle and Vlad the Impaler Perched high upon a rocky precipice in the heart of Transylvania, Romania, stands Bran Castle, a sight to behold with its imposing towers and Gothic architecture. But this majestic fortress holds a darker allure, shrouded in the mists of time and legend. It's often called Dracula's Castle, and while Bram Stoker's iconic vampire was a product of fiction, the castle's connection to the real-life inspiration behind the tale is what truly sends shivers down your spine. Vlad III, better known as Vlad the Impaler, was a 15th century ruler of Wallachia, a region that is now part of Romania. His brutal reputation as a military leader and his penchant for impaling his enemies as a form of punishment are well documented in history. While Vlad the Impaler may not have resided within Bran Castle's walls, his presence is deeply etched into the folklore and history of the region. During his reign, he killed some 80,000 people and impaled 20,000 of them, earning himself his infamous nickname. He may have even dipped his bread in the blood of his impaled enemies. So, despite the castle's dubious links to both Vlad the Impaler and Stoker's famous book, Bran Castle has become a tourist draw in recent years. Chapter 2. Home Delivery Ottoman style. Imagine stepping out of a bustling tavern in 1960s Istanbul, the night air thick with the scent of spices and the sound of distant music. You've enjoyed the company of friends, perhaps a bit too much, and now you find yourself in need of assistance to return home. Fear not, for in Turkey, a unique and rather amusing solution awaited those who overindulged in the pleasures of the tavern. According to Vintage News Daily, you can call for basket carriers, also known as kufeci. Though it's one of the weirdest facts from history, the Kufeci's job was relatively simple. Bars would hire these men, who were often porters during the day, to carry home drunk customers at night. Chapter 3. From Servant to Stock Market Savant This is the story of Mary Ellen Pleasant, an African-American businesswoman who found herself working as a cook in San Francisco in the 1850s. Pleasant's first husband had left her a decent inheritance before he died, so she learned how to invest it by eavesdropping on her wealthy clients. Using her invisible status as a cook, Pleasant took the financial gossip she overheard to make investments that made her the first African-American female millionaire. Declaring that she'd rather be a corpse than a coward, Pleasant funneled her money to the Underground Railroad, fought back against racial discrimination in the country, and may have even given abolitionist John Brown $30,000 to conduct his failed 1859 raid on Harper's Ferry in Virginia. Chapter 4. Mercy Dogs of WWI The horrors of World War I left an indelible mark on history with countless stories of bravery, sacrifice, and unimaginable hardship. Amidst the chaos and carnage of the trenches, an unexpected source of comfort emerged. Mercy Dogs. These four-legged heroes played a vital role in providing solace and support to wounded and dying soldiers during one of humanity's darkest chapters. Trained by the American Red Star Animal Relief, a precursor to the American Humane Society, Mercy Dogs were dispatched to the battlefields of Europe with a mission of compassion. These canine angels served a variety of roles, each more heartwarming than the last. They acted as porters, swiftly and reliably delivering medical supply between units on the front lines. Their keen sense of smell and unwavering loyalty made them ideal for locating wounded soldiers lost in the vast expanse of no man's land, often reaching those who might have otherwise perished. But their most important duty, perhaps, was their ability to provide comfort to soldiers suffering from physical and emotional trauma. Chapter 5. Julia Child and the CIA Julia Child, the beloved culinary icon who brought the art of French cooking into American homes, is a household name synonymous with delicious food and infectious laughter. But before she donned her apron and taught the world how to master the perfect cocoa van, Julia Child led a life filled with adventure, intrigue, and a touch of espionage. Before her culinary adventures began, Julia McWilliams, as she was known then, found herself working for the Office of Strategic Services, OSS, the precursor to the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, during World War II. 
According to the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, Child worked with the OSS Emergency Sea Rescue Equipment Section. At the time, the OSS needed to find a solution for sharks setting off underwater explosives and attacking downed pilots. So Child put her skills to work. She and her team eventually developed a shark repellent, which was coated on underwater explosives and pilots' life vests, saving countless lives. Later, Child joked that the repellent was her first recipe. While Julia's time in the OSS might seem a world away from her later career as a celebrated chef, her wartime experiences undoubtedly shaped her outlook on life and instilled in her a sense of adventure and a willingness to embrace the unknown. Chapter 6. Norwegian Adventurer's Raft Journey the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean has always beckoned adventurers and explorers, its depths holding both peril and the allure of the unknown. In 1947, a young Norwegian adventurer named Thor Heyerdahl embarked on a daring expedition that would capture the world's imagination. A four, 300-mile journey across the Pacific Ocean on a simple raft constructed from balsa wood and other natural materials. Heyerdahl's expedition, dubbed the Kontiki Expedition, was not merely a feat of daring, but a scientific endeavor rooted in his theory about Polynesian migration. Heyerdahl believed that ancient peoples from South America could have reached the Polynesian islands by sea and colonized it first before actual Polynesian peoples, a theory that was met with skepticism from the scientific community at the time. Determined to prove his hypothesis, he assembled a crew of five intrepid individuals and meticulously constructed a raft using only materials and techniques available to ancient South Americans. Their vessel, named Kontiki after the Inca sun god, was a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of exploration. In 1947, Heyerdahl sailed 4,300 miles from Peru to French Polynesia. After 101 days, he and his small crew arrived successfully at their destination proving in Heyerdahl's mind that ancient people could have done the same. Chapter 7. The Man Who Saved 6,500 Babies In the annals of history, some heroes emerge from the most unexpected of places. Their story is a testament to the enduring power of human compassion and the boundless capacity for kindness. Martin County, a German-American physician, is one such figure. His name forever etched in the annals of medical history for his unorthodox yet life-saving approach to caring for premature infants. At the turn of the 20th century, premature babies were often given slim chances of survival. Incubators, a relatively new invention at the time, were expensive and not widely available, particularly to those who couldn't afford them. From the 1890s to the 1940s, County operated a series of exhibits at amusement parks and world's fairs across the United States, showcasing premature infants in incubators. He charged a small fee to view the infant incubator exhibits, using the proceeds to fund the care of the babies, many of whom came from impoverished families who couldn't afford traditional medical care. And there you have it, folks, seven crazy facts you won't learn anywhere else. From castles and canines to millionaires and homemade rafts, history is full of surprises. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.